Hey, what's up, guys? Kyle Gallant with another video, and today I want to talk about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Wow! I didn't imagine the day where Call of Duty was getting beat out by an anime game. Getting beat out in, by an anime game. So, looking at the pre order sales there on the PlayStation and Xbox stores. Also, I checked on Xbox, it's actually kicking its butt on Xbox. There, um, a lot of people forgot about that also on on their videos, but I actually checked it out there. Sparking Zero is actually kicking butt on Xbox also. So it's mostly going across the board. Mostly you're talking about one of the best animes of all time there, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is one of the best animes of all time there versus the um, versus the one of the best video games of all time like Call of Duty. One of them. <clears throat> Um, so it's kicking its ass right now in pre-order sales, um, mostly the pre-order sales on all the systems there. Um, mostly I think Steam actually got it like on like top three or top four. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is like bottom like fifth or sixth in pre-order sales there. And also, um, also that's actually good for for um, both the for both games there mostly call of duty's top five dragon ball spark and zero's top three so that's actually good for both what is the difference why um why spark and zero is kicking his butt obvious reasons why spark and zero is actually kicking call of duty's butt because once again there what activision blizzard can't fucking do they can't get rid of the hacking problem in that game that's the real reason. They can't get rid of that hacking problem in that game there. All the fucking hackers and modders there. They run amok there. Destroying the game there every fucking year. And then they also allow um, Xbox. They mostly allow cross. Mostly they allowed all that stuff there. So that's mostly that's a reason why the game is getting destroyed. By Spark and Zero. Spark and Zero <clears throat> there. They're actually, like, Bandai Namco is doing much better in fucking Activision Blizzard. Bandai Namco is doing much better in Activision Blizzard for their online games. They actually do fix the servers there. They know what the, the, what the fucking customer actually fucking wants there for Dragon Ball Spark and Zero there and stuff. Activision Blizzard, they don't know what they, their customers want, man. They let their customers kind of let, like, uh, getting slapped across the fucking face on this one. But honestly, um, honestly, there it's uh, it's mostly a slap in the face, and they mostly and that's the only reason why people fucking hack the game there, and they can't fix their damn servers. I've been in a couple lobbies already in Call of Duty with Modern Warfare Three with hackers, and I had to like dip out on like like twenty of those fucking matches because some dumbass has to fucking hack and ruin the fucking game when I'm trying to enjoy it. Like everybody else trying to enjoy it there. They don't want to play with hackers. You know why they're going to try to dip there. <clears throat> and mostly I think some of the Call of Duty fandom might actually go to Sparking Zero because of this. Because of this there. And Activision Blizzard. You need to fucking fix your damn servers. Ban and Enco is fixing their damn servers. It's so funny. A Japanese company is much better at fixing their servers than an American company is. That is really sad there. That is really fucking sad. A Japanese company knows how to fix their damn servers versus an American company can. And that's really sad from the COD franchise. And Call of Duty is the, like, possibly maybe the, like, top three, top three games there. It's getting beat out by an anime game. It's getting beat out by an anime game in pre-order sales. So, tell me how this game is gonna, gonna, mostly gonna affect yeah, there's going to be people, honestly, will play Call of Duty Black Ops 6 there. I'm the only one, even, even I will play Call of Duty Black Ops 6 there. I still support the game. There's nothing wrong about the game there. But in the end of the day, like, Sparking Zero is getting player base. They're getting player base there. And what they're doing, what, what COD should have done. What Call of Duty should have done there. What Activision should have done. <clears throat> Maybe Microsoft might fix the, the Call of Duty stuff there. Maybe Microsoft might fix it. 
there. Maybe they might see they're getting their asses handed by fucking an anime game. That looks so embarrassing for them. Who well, honestly, if it was another first-person shooter game, they're like, okay, yeah, who cares? Uh, another first-person shooter game. It's in our same lead. But this is a fighting game. You're getting embarrassed by a fucking fighting game there. Maybe Microsoft might actually do something there and actually say, okay, we're not going to get embarrassed by a fighting game. Let's give what our fans want there. Possibly maybe get DLC early. Maybe get in the full game like three days early. Actually fucking grew the fucking cells. It actually fucking grew the fucking cells there. So maybe that might be real reason why. But we'll have to see how good the games are. We don't know about both of these games. Honestly, Call of Duty, we all fucking know about Call of Duty. Call of Duty is every year. We know what Call of Duty is going to have. We know what Call of Duty is going to fucking have um, for the multiplayer and zombies. Um, <clears throat> the only difference is, even though they, they actually have the Omni movement there, I hope Call of Duty stays Call of Duty and uh, mostly fix some issues. I, I don't want to I don't want to play Hack Cod. I don't want to play Hack Cod no more, man. I want to play... I want to play Call of Duty... Like back in the day, that's what I want. There, and Activision's not listening. They are letting these hackers run amok. The only thing that's positive about that, there's no crossplay in Spark and Zero. Uh, or there, there's negative thing about that is there's no crossplay in Spark and Zero. And Call of Duty does have the crossplay, so that's actually a positive thing about Call of Duty because you can actually still play with your friends who are on, on different devices and stuff. But mostly the uh, Spark and Zero, uh, it's uh, we might have to see. But it's, if it's kicking at, if it's kicking Call of Duty's ass, an uh, anime game is kicking Call of Duty's ass. That's mostly embarrassing for the COD franchise, who's honestly one of the toppest games ever. Always sells well, and now it's getting beat out. It's getting beat out because of that. I don't know if it's because of the Game Pass sales. Definitely, um, maybe they might do something with Xbox players with Call of Duty Black Ops 6 there. Maybe they might say, oh, you get like a free award or something like that. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to fucking see about what's actually going on with the, with the, with both of these games. But once again there, Dragon Ball Spark and Zero is coming out on the 11th. It's coming out on the 11th there. So... Yeah, it's getting pretty close. The game's getting pretty close to release. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 comes out on October 25th. October 25th there. So, um, if there, there's more... Pl- I'm going to say this. If there's more players playing Call of Duty Black Ops... Or more players playing Spark and Zero over Call of Duty Black Ops 6... That might sound the alarm bills for Activision Blizzard saying we need to get our fucking act together. So, yep, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> Sparking Zero is beating out Call of Duty. What do you think about that? Comment, rate, and response to the barrels. We like to love barrels. Please subscribe. Hit the bell notification and see what blows in the live streams. Comment, response to the barrels. Okay, out. Add a piece.